maybe you could just say a little bit now moving into AI specifically about the ability of, of, of artificial systems and so on uh, in terms of this, uh, their ability to actually to sort of think and decide and to make decisions and what principles that we need to think about in terms of creating those systems and, and where we are now, because I know there are many initiatives to, to begin to look at that. No, you're, you're, you're absolutely right that um, the, the debate on AI is nothing new. Um, in fact, these debates have been going on for, for, for quite a long time in all sorts of different fora. And there has been tremendous progress in, in these debates. Um, what uh, we've observed in the last few years is that uh, these debates have started to coalesce in a, a profusion of uh, ethical principles for AI. And that goes across the board among governments, private institutions, local, you know, city governments and municipalities, um, military entities. You know, it, it seems almost like every week that someone is announcing their AI principles. And um, I'm not going to go through all of the principles that uh, exist. I should also note that, um, you know, I specifically look at the international security realm. A lot of these principles are, are, are sort of broadly declared for AI in all kinds of verticals, you know, uh, loan decisions, uh, medical, uh, you know, systems and diagnostics, you name it. Um, but of specific relevance, I think, to uh, the, the, the international security realm, the, the, a few principles have sort of emerged. Um, one is this really universal principle that um, AI has dangerous potentials, and so it must be used for good. There must be a, an active, uh, proactive decision to use the system well, sort of non-maleficence. Um, there's a fantastic paper in Nature Machine Intelligence that did a meta-analysis of all the different, I think they found 84 AI ethics declarations and a number of commonalities emerged, including this one quite near the top. Um, there is also this principle of, of fairness and, and, and inclusivity. Uh, th this notion that AI systems shouldn't, and this goes to what we were talking about at the beginning of the discussion, shouldn't be embedded with bias or perpetuate bias. And, and, and that has come front and center as well. Um, people are starting to realize that AI systems can be vulnerable to attack. And uh, just beyond that, AI systems are going to become sort of like critical infrastructure. I mean, they're going to be doing important things. And so in that regard, they have to be secure. They have to be robust, sort of like, an, you know, everyone agrees that an airplane, because it is vulnerable and can be, you know, attacked and is critical, uh, needs to be secure and robust. Um, there's also this sense that AI needs to be transparent and accountable, right? That those who operate the AI can't keep, shouldn't keep their methods and their data and their architectures secret from the people that the AI affects. And that's a particularly important one in the security realm because obviously there is a prerogative in the security space um, from the perspective of the operator to keep some of your techniques and architectures secret. Um, and finally, and, and, and this one is, is, is very important, um, this notion that AIs are not humans, that you know, the optimal outcome is the symbiosis, if you will, uh, the, the co-working between a human and an artificial intelligence. That it's not just sending out the, the, these artificial intelligence systems to do whatever they may do uh, without regard for you know, um, potential consequences. And crucially, that humans will always be responsible for what AI does, right? And, and that's actually become almost enshrined as a principle in this very contentious debate in the international space around 
military AI systems, and in particular, the notion of a lethal autonomous weapon, a system that you know, can uh, go out and identify targets on its own and engage those targets. And there seems to be a, a, a sort of mounting consensus that whatever the technology is, whatever it does, the buck always stops with the, with the human. Um, so there, those are just a few. I think that's where we are at sort of now in terms of sort of these declarations that we've seen. Mm -hmm.